Well, I'm out in the garage today. It's rainy, wet. Uh, it's just a really nasty day. But we're going to be unboxing a new accessory for the Monport GP30 Fiber Laser. So let me get this unboxed. We'll lay out all the parts and I'll show you what we've got. Alright, so we've got all the pieces out. And if you haven't guessed yet, yes, this is an enclosure for the Monport GP30 Fiber Laser. Now, I just got this a couple of days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and get it assembled. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward. Let's get all this unwrapped, and we'll see how to proceed. All right, so we've got all the pieces unwrapped here, and uh, so we have some extruded aluminum rails, uh, some plexiglass panels for the top sides, front, back, uh, the door. It's all pre-cut ready to assemble. We have the uh, hinge holes here for the door and this is a, it's got a magnetic like a magnetic catch here. It's all taped up so that it doesn't come apart. It's already aligned up I guess. Alright so uh, I think I'm just gonna kinda start assembling and then I'll just document uh, as we go along. Alright so I've got a little bit of the assembly done. I have put the end pieces on the extruded aluminum rails here and you can see they have these tabs here to uh, index it and lock it in and then three corners are smooth and three have the tab. Alright so we'll just continue on with the uprights and the horizontal pieces. Well that went together really uh, fairly easy. Uh, we just need to put the hardware on for the door, the handle, and as a finishing touch they provide you with these little plugs here and they just go on to cover up these holes so it gives you a nice clean look there alright so I'm going to finish putting the hinges in the handle and then we'll um, take the plastic off and we'll see how it fits well, all right, there's the finished uh, enclosure for the Bonport GP30 fiber laser. Actually, this particular enclosure will work for any of the integrated lasers, the uh, 30 watt, 20 watt, or 50 watt. It's got magnetic catches here, so that's nice. Also, it has these plugs to go in the back so you can feed your cables through. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook an exhaust fan to this one because I don't need this particular port and I'll use this one's for the electrical cord to feed that through and yeah I think I'll, I'm going to hook up a fan to this. This enclosure is meant to fit directly over the fiber laser and it does. However, if you guys recall, I put mine on this cart, and this cart is just big enough for the laser. So, the enclosure is 72 millimeters this way, so it's a little bit wider, or a little bit longer than the enclosure, and it's also a little bit wider. So I'm going to have to make some brackets here on the cart, so that this will slide over it. So, I can't really fit it over it. But I'm going to take the laser and I'm going to lay it up on the table here and put the enclosure over it so you can see. So there is the finished enclosure. I've got the laser sitting in there. You can see it fits really well. Um, there's some extra space on the sides, the front. You can easily access the buttons here to turn it off and on and get your part in here. This kind of I wish there was a different way to do this, but uh, I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it'll probably get in the way of accessing it. There's plenty of height for the mast. And there's a little space in the front and a good bit in the back here. So, overall, I think it's going to work out just fine. Now, for those of you who have fiber lasers, uh, you probably already know this, especially if you don't have an enclosure. But some of the material that you're going to be marking causes a lot of 
fumes. Uh, especially like this Christmas I did some slate coasters and those put off a lot of uh, smoke or dust I guess. Uh, really it's just particles that were vaporized by the laser when you did the marking. So slate was real bad. It put off a lot of this uh, dust. Uh, most of the stuff I mark is aluminum. I don't want to be breathing that stuff in either. That's why I do that. Uh, I do that on my original 20 watt. But you can see the dust that gets in here. And that's... I've wiped it out several times inside the walls of the enclosure. Uh, dust gets on. And... The exhaust fan that I got in there works really well, keeping that those fumes out of uh, the garage here and out of my uh, lungs. So, having an enclosure is a really nice thing to have. Uh, this particular enclosure is now available at Monport. They have one for the integrated unit as well as the split unit. Alright guys, well that'll wrap up this video on the Monport Fiber Laser Enclosure. So if you're interested in an enclosure for your fiber laser, stop by Momport and check them out. There'll be a link in the video description and also a coupon code. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. That way when, when I post a new video, they'll send you a link. If it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video, please subscribe, and most importantly, 